Arsenal fans, we've got a massive update that could change everything for the Gunners. Stay tuned, because this explosive news is something you won't want to miss. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're always in the loop with the latest Arsenal news. Trust me, this is one video you'll want to share with every Gunner you know. As we approach the final days of the summer transfer window, Arsenal remains very much in the mix for both incoming and outgoing deals. The Gunners have already secured the signings of goalkeeper David Raya for £27 million and Italian international defender Riccardo Calafiori for £42 million from Brentford and Bologna, respectively. But the club isn't done yet. Edu, Arsenal's sporting director, is laser-focused on adding a central midfielder to bolster Mikel Oteta's squad. Mikel Moreno has emerged as a top target, but despite what seemed like a straightforward deal, talks have hit a snag. Even though Moreno is in the last year of his contract with Real Sociedad, internal deliberations have stalled the move. Arsenal has yet to make a formal bid for the 28-year-old midfielder, though sources indicate that a £25 million offer was on the table last month. Marino is eager to join the Gunners and has already agreed to personal terms, even turning down Atletico Madrid earlier this summer. However, Real Sociedad is still trying to keep him, offering a lucrative new contract. Meanwhile, there are whispers that Arsenal is eyeing other targets, but their identities remain a closely guarded secret. Could one of these names be the final piece of the puzzle that helps Arsenal close the gap on Manchester City? Now, here's a question for you, if you had to choose, would you rather see Arsenal sign Mikel Moreno or focus on another position? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Last week, Moreno was left out of Real Sociedad squad for a friendly against Union Berlin, sparking rumours that a deal with Arsenal was imminent. But sources at the Anoeta Stadium insist that this was simply due to managing Moreno's workload after he missed two consecutive training sessions. As it stands, Marino has been training with Sociedad this week. On the other hand, Hale End products Ethan Nwanui and Miles Lewis Skelly have impressed Mikel Oteta during pre-season and are expected to be part of the first team plans this season, meaning they won't be heading out on loan. But it's not just about incoming players. Arsenal is also open to bolstering their attack, potentially bringing in a forward or winger, although this will likely depend on departures. Edin Ketia and Rhys Nelson are among those who could leave. Bournemouth has reportedly opened talks with Arsenal about a move from Ketia as they look to replace Dominic Solanke, who Marseille tried to sign earlier this summer. Edu has stood firm on Ketia's valuation, and Arsenal is confident that Premier League interest will materialise before the window closes. So, what do you think? Should Arsenal push harder to finalise a deal for Marino? or should they focus on other areas? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what could be the most pivotal moment of this transfer window. Share this video with every Arsenal fan you know, something big is coming, and it could change everything. 